Jam School Remix. Here's the secret to opening up old padlocks with nothing but a soda can. Padlocks. This is the real deal. This is like a master padlock. How do you use a padlock shape? Okay, if you look, it, it's kind of like, like an L shape. And you can see there's a little point to the padlock shim. Yeah. That's what's actually gonna go between the shackle and the locking mechanism. And so which side of the left hand arm are you gonna go in, on the left or on the You right? actually wanna go in the inside, okay. just like that. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna go ahead and take the pointy end, get it worked in there, and then bend the two pieces together. Oh, Like wow. squeezing them, almost like a pair of pliers. Okay. And you just push it down, you work it in there. All right. And now as you're working it in there, you're gonna wanna try to pull up on the lock at the same time. So push down. So you're squeezing this down. You're squeezing this together, pushing while you're pushing down, and you're pulling up oh, the shackle. It popped right open. There you go. If you're having a hard time getting the shim in, if it's really tight, what can you do? Everyone has a little tiny can of WD-40. Yeah. You could spray a little in there, and it should slide right down into that, awesome. that crevice. You could use a Red Bull can. The metal and the aluminum isn't as strong, obviously, as a padlock shim. Say, like a tin can, you'd be a little bit stronger. Something that you can use for repeated use. Absolutely. You want to cut as close to the edges as you can. You want to make sure not to have a lot of, of crinkles. You want to have it as smooth as you can. I make sure to, to get nice. rid of the roll that's in it, right? Yeah. Now you have a flat piece of aluminum. I trim off the flashing on the side that's so sharp. Almost like you're like cutting like a little hill into a piece of paper. Yeah, there you go. If you were just to wrap this around and put it in, it's all gonna crinkle. What you wanna do is bend it so you have a thicker portion to use for leverage. Wrap it around. But you wanna pull in and down. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Thought it'd be fun to actually have a race. I guess down one of these, make a shim, and unlock a lock first. On your mark, get set, go. Aha! Keep you awake. Oh, dude, you already made this? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Keep bending mine. Oh. Pull it up. Oh. Is this my whole can up? You used whole can up? <laughs> 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 Gotta give huge time traveling thank yous to our friend Daniel Martin on this one of his first appearances on the show. If you're having difficulty making this work with a soda can shim, remember you can buy professional grade shims over at places like scamstuff.com. That's gear for the modern road. Scam School Remix brings you the best of nine years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. You could dive into the complete Scam School Remix archives or check out the most recent appearance of your friend of mine, Daniel Martin. 